Hey everybody, this is Christina Zaro from Soul Positive. I wanted to hop on and do a quick flip through of this pocket journal that I just completed. Um, you can fast forward if you'd like. This is the first time I'm actually going to do a voiceover as we're going through. So here we go. For some reason, I always keep the first page of every single journal that I work in blank. I'm not sure if I think I'm going to write something um, super amazing on that first page, but I always leave the first page blank. So this page is just, I had started to experiment with watercolor and originally this is what this journal was supposed to be, was a watercolor only journal. It was for a challenge that I was going to do, but I ended up doing single sheets of paper instead. So hence, this became quite a mixed bag. This is really probably two pages of the first time I ever tried watercolor and I was just messing around with very little bit of water um, and just some scribbles. Here, I ventured out a little bit. I added um, a watercolor background and some watercolor on book pages. And then I started doing watercolor elements on separate watercolor paper, cutting them out, and then stitching them into my journal. Here I also added acrylics and some Posca pens. I really like this page. This was something that um, Ray and Sandy were doing. It was continuous line drawing. So I tried my hand at it and then just colored it in, basically tore it and then stitched it into the journal. This is probably one of my favorite pages. Um, the background is actually acrylic paint that I watered down um, with by adding white golden titanium the fluid paint to it so i really lightened it up but this isn't watercolor this is all acrylics the only watercolor element on here is right here as you can see i started to fall in love with watercolor circles and as we move forward you'll see they're on lots of pages because um i really really started to love watercolor here. I'm also trying to incorporate a little bit more of my own handwriting into my journals and hence this is this is partly my handwriting and as you can see I'm left-handed so it's a little off because usually when I write I, I tend to turn the page like this. Here's more watercolor circles. These I just glued in. The back again is just acrylic paints. A lot of times I use, well, I would say the majority of the time I use Dina Wakely um, acrylic paints. I love the little tubes that they come in and it's perfect. And they're great colors. Um, I find that I can add water to them and just, I really like the way that they work in my journals. Same here, a little peekaboo here. More elements. I was doing the um, watercolor challenge in Sandine Ray's Quick Start Watercolor class. So you'll see some of the elements made their way in here. Now this, um, this page was kind of the beginning of quarantine. So I was trying to journal my anxiety. This is actually a piece from Allie Edwards Designs. That's what I do in my journals is basically just work through everything that I'm feeling at the moment. Um, I guess that's why this journal fills up so quickly. As you can see, absolutely adore watercolor circles. I think that these will probably become a part of most of my journals now. this um the the there's some material here if you can see right here this is some somebody gave me this piece i'll try to bring it up a little bit it's a piece of material but it has sticky backing on it and when i was stitching forgot that there was sticky backing on it 
and it made quite a big mess. I broke my needle on my sewing machine. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. Here I just tried some watercolors on, these are old sheets that one of my friends, hi Amy, sent me uh, a big pack of old letters and slips and receipts and all kinds of things. So I just added a little bit of watercolor there. Oh, there's those again. This is probably one of my favorite pages. It's watercolor circles with acrylic paint circles from my under paper. So I save every single scrap of paper that I use usually. And these were punched out. I used a, a punch and punched them out of my under paper. I don't think I post, I may have posted this on my Instagram, but I didn't post this. Um, I like to try my hand every once in a while at drawing flowers. I'm not so great at it, but what the heck, gave it a whirl. This is um, what I would say very minimalistic for me. I wanted a rainbow of watercolors and I just really liked this poem by Mary Oliver and I really like this this part specifically and I thought I would just leave a white background. Blue as you can see is one of my very favorite colors. I was reading Glennon Doyle's book, Untamed, at the time that I did this page, and a running theme through her book is We Can Do Hard Things. So I put that in here to remind myself that I can do hard things too. This is rare for me. It's a page, I don't love it, and I just could not find words this, this uh, this day, I know specifically what was happening. I was having a really bad week creatively and I just could not find words for the page. I do like though that you can see the stitching from the other side through this. I put a piece of deli paper down and I like that you can see the stitching through and it becomes a part of this page. This is a, mo a more recent page. I would say probably within the last few days, I used Ray Missigman, um, her stencils for Stencil Girl. And then this is on a tea bag. It was for the Life Documented group on Facebook. Um, Raspberry Blue Sky actually was a 1000% my inspiration for this. Oh, and then if you see right here, peekaboo, I sewed two pages together. Yes, that happens on occasion when I'm going a little crazy with the sewing machine and I stick it under there and don't realize there was actually another page. So there's two whole pages that have nothing on them and they're stitched together. Here is, I posted this when it was a work in progress on Instagram, but if you see, a little too still for comfort. And then this is my last page. It kind of has everything in it that I love. There's watercolor paper, there's fabric scraps, which are huge in my work, um, a little inspiration to myself, a little pep talk, telling myself that I will. Um, do all of the things that I want to do and all of the goals that I have ahead. I just have to work towards them. And of course there's purple because purple is my very favorite color. So that is it. That is my pocket journal. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Thank you.